Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama. And today is Saturday and my husband and I went out yard selling this morning. Don't mind this, this is kind of like what your bedside table looks like, except for this is kind of what I use for my bedside table next to my chair. So it's supposed to be my Golden Girls shelf, but I still need to clean it up. Um, not This is not a Golden Girls haul, but since it's right here, I just wanted to show you like one of my favorite things. So I have a Golden Girls cookbook. Mm -hmm. I love it. I've never used it. But anyways, and let me just tell you, this is not a Golden Girls. This is a um, yard sale haul. But it made me think when I saw this that starting this coming week, starting today, there is like a pop-up Golden Girls restaurant um, coming in LA. And I am going to go. Not today. It's several weekends through I think the end of October or something and I plan on being there and it's just a little pop-up restaurant yeah I'll, sh I'll show you guys when I go there this is not a Golden Girls Hall but oh, my husband put that golf club too far for me to reach so um anyways I'll just tell you um my husband got a tailor-made what is it a driver huh yeah. a tailor-made driver golf putter thing um, at a yard sale today for $25 and he was like, oh, that's an amazing deal. I don't know because I don't golf, but he picked that up. So it was $25. Um, and then let me just show you some of the other stuff we picked up. So I did pick this up. It's the Creative Cocktails hand painted beer glass. I picked it up for a dollar and it's just a Christmas themed and I thought Christmas is coming up. Now I did just also release a video saying that I was not going to show people, um, what I picked up for stuff that wasn't for my family because of the rude and mean comments that get left underneath. And I was heartbroken by one because Frugal J said that she gets mean comments all the time under hers about her son who's been in a coma for five months. And that really made me think, what in the heck kind of people are out there? Like, that's crazy to me, like that anybody would ever do anything like that. So I think that if somebody makes a comment under there, I'm just, usually I just like remove the comment, but I guess you can like um, delete them. No, 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 but no, thank you. Um, you can like remove them from ever being able to see your stuff. And I think I'm just going to do that. But Frugal J did say, remember that when they made, sorry, my, my boxer is afraid of the golf club. <laughs> Larry, you should see her. She's so afraid of it. Um, I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> she came in, she was like, and then started looking at it like mm -mm, she did not like it anyways um but she was right she was like every time they come in under there it's good for you and i was like yeah but it still hurts my feelings but anyways i think i'll just remove them because i do like showing you guys what i pick up regardless of what it's for um so i think i'm gonna keep going and until it really starts hurting my feelings a lot more and then i'll stop but for right now i'll show you guys um what i got and some of it is for us at home and some of it is to resell so i did pick this up for a dollar and it's just feeling frosty um, yeah, so it's just a hand painted beer glass. I think I looked it up and it was like $10, but again, I'm just doing it. I'm doing it to obviously make funny, but also for fun. And so I paid a dollar, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to try to lean and reach real quick. Hold on. Oh goodness. Okay. So these are the first thing that my husband and I picked up. And let me tell you, when it says it smells like peanut butter, these smell like peanut butter. So this is from BarkBox and a guy had like all brand new stuff like sitting outside of his house. And usually we don't stop because if it's brand new in boxes, um, they want like a million dollars because you know, it's made of gold. But we stopped and um, he had three of these brand new still in the packaging and they're acorns, but they definitely smell like peanuts and you're supposed to put treats in here on the dog to dig the treat out. And um, he sold three of these still in the packaging and everything for $5. Not $5 each, but in total $5. And I mean, that's that's an amazing, see it's from BarkBox. It's gonna be backwards on there. Um, but I love these, our dogs, we, it's hard to find them toys. I've told you that before. Um, we only buy them from Amazon now through hearts I think it's called and we only buy one specific toy for them and it's a bone but this right here like I said we picked up and they were so five dollars divided by three is like 170 each or something anyways that's a good deal here take your toy back mommy has it thank you here you go he's left him's got his toy and left so anyways they love him let's keep going I think that's the only thing we got from that sale but I am not gonna try to divide this up by each sale we went to because I have a hard enough time remembering the prices I did pick these up. I thought they were a good deal. I don't know. Um, so they are the, um, you know, the little shutterfly kind of Polaroid things. 
Um, these are the cases for them. And this lady had, she said she had three kids and that two of her kids didn't even use them anymore. So she had two of them. And I mean, if you look right here, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, they are in amazing condition. This one does have something like right here, but I think I can just wash it. I haven't tried to wipe it down. But regardless, like it's just the little purse side body thing with two straps for the Shutterfly, um, I'm sorry, the Shutter camera. So there's that one. And then this is the same one except for a different color. And this is the Galaxy one. It is so cute. And then it comes with this little wallet thing on it. And again, they look like they're in like a perfect condition. So I picked those up. They were a dollar each. And then since I do remember, let's go through this bag because this is from the exact same um, yard sale. And so the one thing I have to be careful of is I am 99.9% .9 sure that this lady had dogs. Um, and so as soon as we brought the bags in and put them down, my dogs actually, well, one in particular, our pit bull, came straight for these clothes to smell and I'm sure to try to pee on versus the toy. So that's one thing we have to be really careful. So I wanted to do this video right now so I could put this stuff in the laundry because I do not, yeah. Mm -mm. So this is by... Um, vintage straight and it is by Universal Thread and it's what does that say Canadian denim fabrics and it still had the tag on it so it's a 1213 regular and it shows it was $34 or whatever but it's it was 50 cents so I picked up these jeans they are a full button fly if these would have fit me I would wear them because I absolutely love a full button fly um, and they're just um, distressed right there and they're I mean, maybe there's, I think I'm just long, but I think these are regular jeans and not capris, but I paid 50 cents for this universal thread pair of jeans with the tag still. So I thought that was a great deal. Those are obviously not going to go into the washer. Um, and then I picked this up from that same yard sale. All this whole bag will be from that yard sale. It's a forever 21 large dress and it has this black lace. I mean, she said her kids did not wear her stuff very much, which I can definitely see. And again, this was 50 cents. And so I like to pick up things like this that are like 50 cents and stuff, because even if they list for a lot more, it's just nice to put something down for like 10.99 or 9.99 or whatever. Um, so that everyone has the opportunity to get like, I guess forever 21 isn't like the best thing, but um, it's just nice that some people can get it for a cheaper price um, versus trying to put what everyone else is competitively putting it on for the Poshmark and stuff, you know? I don't know, but I wish that these fit me too, but I think these are going to be way too big, but maybe not. These are by PacSun and made in Vietnam. I saw the size on them somewhere. What size are you? These are a size, they are high rise festival and they say 30, but I don't know, maybe they will. I don't know, but I don't, what is the 30 in women's? Do you know, Larry? No. No, okay. And I don't think it's very old either because it still has that little tag, but these, these cute, like distressed jeans are so cute, or shorts, I'm sorry. I think they are so cute. And I picked these up for 50 cents and they are a pack sun. And then with these kind of jeans, well, you never know if there's something wrong with them because they're already ripped, right? So who cares? Um, I picked this up for me because we do live in Arizona and we are huge U of A fans and this is by pink and it's a size medium and it is just like this half um, cut off sweatshirt long sleeve um, Arizona Wildcat sweater. I love it. And again, we are huge U of A fans and it does just say pink right there, but I didn't even honestly notice it was Victoria's Secret. As soon as I saw that it, that was the front of it and that it was my size, um, I got it. So I have, I got that. And then apparently my husband was just a little tired because he got this. He let me get it because he thought it was a large in men's. It's not, it's women's and which is perfectly fine because I actually got it for myself. Um, and so it's by dry fit. Um, it's a Nike and it's a size large, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. And again, it has U of A on there. So this will be for me, um, at the half zip, um, where did the sleeve go? Has Arizona wildcats and nothing's wrong with it. I mean, yeah, so this is again for me and it has the thumb holes. I love the thumb holes. So I picked that up. And then I picked this up just because it was 50 cents and I was like, well, let me just see what happens here. This would not be for me even if it was in my size and if you guys like it that is amazing i just could not pull this off ever so this is by forever 21 and it's a size medium 
And so it has this little coat, right? That's really cute. And I might wear it separately, but I just can't imagine wearing this together. And probably because it's 100 degrees where I live. So, you know. But so it's by Forever 21. And it's just this really cute jacket. And it has like these little pearl buttons right there. I'm not real pearl, you know, but um, so and it's like an open blazer, another little fake pearl button with the neck that but then it has this cute little skirt that goes with it. And oh my gosh, these are shorts. Okay, so maybe I would wear it. I don't know this the shorts brings it up to a whole new level and it's a medium. So I might see myself wearing these little shorts in San Francisco with um, like a white tank or something. Yes, and it could be cold. So then I'll put this. I don't know. I thought that it was a skirt and I mean, it would be a little too like dressy for me, but these are shorts guys. Thank goodness I picked this up. Um, and so it looks like there's damage, but it's not. So this is like where they fringed like a pocket also like that. And then does it have it on the side? Yeah. So it has it on this side also and it zips on the side right here. Okay, so they were not for me originally, but again, I paid 50 cents for the outfit. And so all the clothes that you just saw, I paid $3 in total for. That's an amazing deal. So especially now that I know those are shorts, I'm super excited. Um, okay, so let's go through more clothes, but this is not from the same sale. This is actually, if I remember, where we got the tailor-made golf club from. So I picked this up for me also. Apparently, I got myself a couple of things today. Um, and this is active old Navy semi fitted sem what does it say semi fitted okay yeah and it sets up to small I picked it up because I love the color I love pinks and corals bright colors a lot of people I know pick up this is inside out that's why it was looking so weird and that's why I could read the tag so good um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> I picked it up again for me. Um, a lot of people are like, I only like blacks or whatever. I am definitely love my bright color. So this could be something I wear on the plane because it's very thin, but it's still long sleeves because those planes, I never know if I'm going to be hot or cold. So anyways, I picked that up for 50 cents. It was a 50 cent clothes day. And then I picked this up. It's a size medium. I don't know if one of my boys want it. It's Guess, established in 1981 when I was born. And it just says authentic vintage American traditions, denim and dry goods, made in Peru, and it's a size medium. And I just thought, like, it's very thin too. So it's good to wear in Arizona, again, because I don't know that it ever gets cold in this state, but sometimes it gets a little bit chilly, and so this would be good, so it doesn't overheat them, and it just has the guest jeans. If they don't want it, I will probably post it, but they might. And don't think, like, so they've been like, oh yeah, I'll wear that. Um, hold on one second. They'll be like, oh yeah, I'll wear that. And then um, I'm looking to make sure they do, because if they don't, I'm taking it back. Um, I picked up three of these, and the reason I picked it I picked it. I picked them all up is because they were all the same size and I thought it would be a great idea just to list them all together in a bulk. So this is by Croft and Barrow. I thought it was Craft, but it's Croft and Barrow made in Jordan, a size medium. And it's these like just high net long sleeve shirts. They all look like they're brand new and but they're all fall. So look at the leaf leaf print on this one. I paid 50 cents for each again, but this one has a leaf print. And they all just, I think they're all definitely fall themed. This one has like some birds and blue jays. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I think that one's really pretty. And then this one is 1000% fall. Like wear this on Thanksgiving kind of fall. Um, again, it's just the long sleeve. I, they all look like they're brand new, I'm pretty sure. But, and these just have like the maple leaves and stuff. I think it's beautiful. So I picked those all up for 50 cents each. And then I picked this up. Ooh, I almost pulled my camera over. Um, I don't know, my boxer is getting mad about something. And so this is by Children's Place. And um, it's just a 10, 12 little coat. But it looked like pretty much brand new also. And so it's orange on the inside. And it's just this gray on the outside. Um, and that has like the orange elastic band on the bottom. But I picked it up for 50 cents. So then again, um, people really need coats. Like, so I can post this for a little bit cheaper on my site. So that's, you know, 
somebody can afford a coat or whatever, you know, because sometimes we don't think about the things that like people really need. Um, I guess, yes, resellers and stuff need money, but sometimes, you know, like the parents are just looking for any way they can make a buck. And I can assure you, unless they go to Goodwill on Dollar Day, they're not finding anything for a buck, you know, like, yeah. So anyways, we'll keep going. Let's try to see what was in here. Oh, my bracelet is just floating around. So this is by Premier Designs, I think. Um, I don't know, but it was what was in the box and I did pay $3 for it and it was in this little box, but it is just like this chunky bracelet that I think is beautiful. And I think Premier Designs does usually sell for like $5 or something. I'm not sure, but I just think it's really cute. I love like the gaudy chunkiness of it. And then it just has the thing that goes in here. But I, again, like am just a bright person or like chunky and gaudy. So I got that for $3, which I think is a great deal. And then we went to my husband's um, mom's, so my mother-in-law's yard sale and his family was there. And so we got this movie. Um, we wanted to pay her for it, but I had picked up something else for her not too long ago. So she could just take it. My middle son in LA, he, no matter what streaming devices we get him to watch in his college room, he loves Blu-ray DVDs. Like he said, he will never go away from it ever. And so I don't know if he has it. I texted him, but, um, he, I think he had just gotten off work. So he was sleeping. Um, so I just picked this up for him. If he doesn't, who cares? But you know, if he doesn't have it, like I said, he loves himself some Blu-ray DVDs. I'm not sure if I told you guys and I might have, but he, like I said, he is really a go-getter. I'm sorry. I was trying to see why this bag was feeling like that. Um, he is just really a go-getter and right now he is working for the set of um it's not america's got talent what is it the voice the voice and um so he's like guarding or whatever the 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 contestants that are in the hotel room so he or babysitting that's the better one he's babysitting him he has to make sure that they're in the hotel by a certain time so he works like a seven at night to seven in the morning shift and um he said that the people on the voice like treat them or whoever he works for um, treats them amazing. Like he loves it because he is able to get like his homework done while he's there. There's only certain things he has to do. And then he pretty much sits in a room where they supply him all this food, a television. I mean, everything. Um, and so he gets to meet the contestants and all that, but he's there babysitting. So that's why he might've been sleeping this morning. Um, I did pick this up also. So I had a huge one, but I got rid of it because you don't really use like these like um, jars very much and it was just too taking up too much room. I love this because it is kind of small and so it can just kind of tuck in somewhere. And so I picked it up for $3 and it's just a glass dispenser with a chalkboard labor, labor, label. Um, and I looked in it and that's exactly what's in it. But again, it's small so that when I do want to pull it out or something, it's right there. But like I said, that big bulky one, we didn't use it enough for the room it was taken up. So I paid $3 for that. And let me keep reading at the same one second. Ugh. I should have thought of this out where I put stuff before. Um, so this is the dolly from my heart to your home. 1.79 quart stoneware speckled pie dish. Let's be honest. That is who sold me. Her song, Coat of Many Colors, is my favorite song ever. Like I absolutely, she is probably one of my favorite artists, but her song Coat of Many Colors just brings light to everyone's eyes. And now that I think about it, it kind of makes me think of like YouTube, because if you've ever heard that song, it's about how the kid's mom quilted him this beautiful coat that he or she just loved and um, couldn't wait to take it to school. And he got to school, everybody made fun of him. And he was very sad. Um, and so, but he was just like, well, I love this thing. And now, like now that I'm putting two and two together, it 1000% makes me think of YouTube. Like you are so proud when you put something out and then you, people make all these mean comments under it. But anyways, if you can ever listen to that song, Coat of Many Colors, favorite song in the world. Um, but it is a nice pie dish. Um, I paid $3 and it is stoneware and it's beautiful. So for $3, I will take that. I'll probably leave it in the box forever so I can have her picture. I love that woman. I love her. Like my dream would be to see her in concert somewhere or just to see her somewhere. Love her. Anyways, I picked this up at the last, at the one where I picked up the beer glass. I probably should have showed it to you first also, but it was just a dollar and it's the creative 
cocktails and this is obviously a wine glass with um, the Christmas theme on it. A while ago, I hauled a martini glass that I bought from Goodwill or something, I can't remember, and that sold quick, it's already gone. And so these might do pretty good, I don't know, but I paid a dollar. This is for me because I do use gate belts every single day at work and I paid a dollar and this is Mickey or Minnie or whoever you want, but it's Disney heads. And so I think it's so cute and I'll know if you stole my gate belts, but I just loved it because it was Mickey and Minnie and I use that every day. So I will take that to work. I think we're almost done guys. We only have one last place. And again, that's the place I always talk about. And that is our thrift store up the road from my house that all every single piece of their money goes to the food bank in our community and i love that i picked this up and it was 3.99 did they take it off yeah 3.99 but it's like this huge it's just a shoe box right like that goes in your closet for sandals or something and i might use it for that but i also thought so it has pockets on the side like i could use this for anything in my um craft room put anything in here. I could use this to help me with my selling on like Poshmark and stuff. Like I can put the shoes in here. I can put like labels in here. I can put my tape and stuff, whatever. But for $3.99, I thought this was a great deal and I will definitely use it for something. So I have several ideas and it just holds onto something right there. So I got that. I picked this up for my little princess Belle. Mommy got you something. Hold on, cause she might come over here. So I need to move stuff before she causes havoc. So we only have one dog that will allow us to put clothes on her. And my youngest son is always like, mom, can you please buy Belle clothes? Can you please? And she allows it, but she's not happy. Like she sits there sad, <laughs> but she lets us do it. And it's, we just love her. But mommy got this for you. Yes, she did. And so it says, I've been naughty. And then it goes up to, I've been nice. I've seen them everywhere, but their Christmas stuff was half off. So I got this for $1.50. And no way will we put this on her right now. It is too hot. But I think during Christmas, it's going to be so cute. Belle, you want to wear this? You just want to wear it? If we can get it on her, I'll post a picture on my community page. We'll just put it on her and take it off. My youngest is best at putting her clothes on. But we got it because he's always asking for clothes. So I paid $1.50. Boy, that is really tearing up that toy, Larry. Oh, this is from somewhere else. I think I paid a dollar for these. Okay, so the other day my son and I were trying to take pictures of some of the shorts and pants and skirts that I had bought, um, like, you know, reselling and stuff, and it was a mess. And I was going to put, like, a hanger and then put, um, like, the, the clips from Dollar Tree on there or, like, um, clothespins to try to hold them on there, but I found I got five of these today for a dollar. She had a whole box of them for five dollars. I said, ma'am, I'd rather shoot myself in the eye than take that whole box of hangers, but could I just buy like five? So it was a dollar, but these are going to come in such handy for um, the reselling. So I picked up five, you know, like I said. And so again, the thrift store I went to that is in my community, um, all their Christmas stuff was half off. I go to that place often. Okay. Um, but I had been eyeing this. What? Too yeah. Um, so I had been eyeing this, but I was like, I just can't for $4.99. I can't do it. But it was half off today, guys. So I can for $2.50. She is so cute. So she's on this ladder with like the lights hanging off the side and the present is at the top. Look at her with our little bells. Like I cannot wait. So like I said, $5. I was like, I cannot do this. But for $2.50, I can. I mean, oh, I love her. $2.50. So I got that. That's for me. Yeah. And then, oh, this, I already know what it is. This is 1,000% for me. So I do um, a room. Belle, you want to come over here for a minute? You want to come here and say hi? Come up here. You want to come say hi? No, she has her new toy. You want to bring your new toy to mommy? She's trying to get it. They're kind of big for their little mouths, though. She got a little peanut head. Nope, she jumped back up on the bed. So if you watched any of my videos before, I do like um, kind of an elf theme in at least one room because the movie Elf is my absolute favorite Christmas movie ever. I love it. And I found this and again, everything Christmas was half off. So I paid a dollar for this and it just says smiling is my favorite and it has my little elf on there. Yes, it does. It has the green inside. So this is for me. Yes, I will be drinking hot cocoa or I will drink my ice drinks or whatever in here all the time. Yes, so I love that. Love it, got that. I think there's only one more thing in here. So, and then we're done, guys, you guys can go. 
I picked this up and it still has the paperwork under it, but I was trying to see. So they had it for $8.99. Um, and so half off of $9 was $4.50. So we paid $4.50. But again, if you watched any of my Christmas videos actually from last year and the year before that, um, of the village that gets set up is a thing between me and my oldest son that we have um, kind of carried on the tradition for. And we absolutely love, well, he does not allow me to put it up anymore, but he puts it up himself and just does all this different stuff to it. So I picked this up for our village because I think it's beautiful and for $4.50. And it has like the cord to it, so it works. It's a windmill and down here it just says why it's windmill. And then I didn't realize under here it says Carol Town Collection. So it just has like all the paperwork with it still. I just think it's beautiful and I cannot wait to put it into our village. And so guys, oh, one more thing. So last Christmas, I was not really into like, I didn't think I needed to get rid of anything and not into decluttering. Oh, I am. So this year when my husband pulls everything down from the attic, I'm going to go through bin by bin and just get rid of so much stuff. And because I'm just done with the clutter and stuff. So I did need to pick up a couple more things though, because those are things that we will use more versus stuff. I'll be like, maybe I'll use that next year. Maybe I'll use that next year. So I'm kind of being a little bit more particular what I pick up to keep in my house. So um, that is everything that we picked up and everything was less than a hundred dollars. So because we, wait, you didn't have to use the card at the last thrift store, did you? Was it cash still? Okay, so we went and pulled out $100 today, and we spent less than $100 on all this stuff, which I think is a great deal. Um, so, anyways, I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you don't want to be mean underneath in the comments, and I appreciate all the support from my last video from everyone. Um, because, I mean, I know it happens to other people, but sometimes you just need to hear, and it doesn't make it better that it happens to other people, but at least they're not only being rude to you and they only live their life to make yours miserable. So um, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.